it's Thursday the 28th of October and we're only about three miles away from home. We've parked up on Tidnam Chase for the night. Got a nice view there over the River Severn. Couple of cars parked up, just dog walkers. We've got Paws allotment in those woods over there. And then um, in the morning we've got uh, a walk to the Devil's Pulpit. On that path there. So here we are for the night. This is our new gadget for getting rid of condensation on the window. Don't keep calling me a gadget. <laughs> Marvellous this is. And uh, that's our view from the window. This is my £20 charity shop guitar that I found about a week ago. I've put all these stickers on myself. Pirate stickers for when we get to Pirate Mania, if we ever get to Pirate Mania again. That's us, lightly tuned as a duo. Poor Prince are for the dogs. Oh, I changed the strings as well. Put on some rainbow strings just because I could. It's Alistair's harmonica case. And there he is, having a little nap. Cheers. Right, this song uh, was written by Dick Bryce, who is a, a local Forest of Dean folk legend. legend. The land between two rivers Where the Severn meets the sea And the silver wire runs laughing On a journey to be free Of the cliffs that hold her close From Coppet Hill to Beach Key. That's the place where I belong Where I want to be the land between two people where the morning is like wine and the hands that reach in friendship where the blue scars of the mind where the tongue sounds rough to strangers ears but the words they speak are kind that's the land where I belong the place for me and mine the land between two nations where the seven meets the wine and a hundred thousand treetops reach their branches to the sky you can lie and watch the salmon swim by the cliffs where falcons fly that's the land where I was born where There's a land between two rivers where the seven meets the sea and the silver wire runs laughing on a journey to be free of the cliffs that hold her close from Coppet Hill to Beachley Key.
goes wow, wow, wow. I saw the lights of Thornbury on the other side of the River Severn. A bit of a moon there, but it's not very clear. I've got the tick tick of the diesel heater. Alistair's taken the dogs out for a walk and it's nice and quiet and peaceful. I've got a book to read and the cards are all ready for when he gets back. We're going to have a game of gin rummy. It's all very quiet now. The wind's dropped, the rain's gone. And all I've got is the lovely tick tick from the diesel heater. Of a misty murky morning. Just about to take the dogs for a walk.
I was reading up last night about there being a cairn um, in the in well, there's several cairns in the area. Um, but we were wondering if this could possibly be a cairn, or was it earthworks from um, the lime kilns that were in the area? Not sure. Chase Farm ice cream is highly recommended, absolutely the best. I'm actually walking on top of Offa's Dyke and we've arrived at the Devil's Pulpit. Not much of a view of the abbey down there today. A bit misty. outcrop of rock is called the Devil's Pulpit, where the devil is said to have uh, haunted the monks in the abbey down below. See it? A bit lifty today. <laughs> Oh bugger, I didn't, oh no, I didn't press record. Seriously? You'll have to do it again. No. I reckon there's a cow that sat on that thing. Do you reckon? You don't think it's a tractor accident that bent that? I don't know, I reckon a cow. <laughs> We're wondering if this is the, um, um, Bronze Age cairn that was excavated in the 1950s. Um, it, when they dug into it, they found um, a woman's bones and a child's bones, along with her implements. One of the things they found with the bones was a, a hagstone, not dissimilar to the one that I carry around in my pocket every day, just like this. 